Hello Planeswalkers, Andrew here. Do you ever get tired of being nice? Don't you ever just feel like going ape <laughs> Kyle, please censor that. Today, we're talking about Omnath, Locus of Rage. He's a 5-5 that has landfall, make a 5-5 elemental token. Whenever it or another of your elementals dies, it hits any target for three. This is just a gruel aggressive fun stuff stack. It's called Mosh Pit. Since we want to get lands out that tr uh, to trigger Omnath, we might as well get other landfall triggers while we're at it. Avenger of Zendikar makes an 0-1 plan for each land you control when it enters, and for landfall, it puts a plus one plus one counter on each of your plants. Tireless Tracker has landfall, investigate. Scoot Swarm has landfall, make a 1-1 insect, or if you have six or more lands, it clones itself. Seed the land has landfall, make a 1-1 snake. This triggers for everyone. Reshape the Earth has you search up 10 lands and play them tapped. Crop Rotation has you sack a land to search up a land and play it tapped. Geode Rager has landfall, goad each creature target opponent controls. Which means they have to attack on their next turn, but they can't attack you. Zendikar's Royal has landfall, make a 2-2 elemental. Phylath, World Sculptor, makes an 0-1 plant for each basic you control when it enters. And it has landfall, put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on one of those plants. Rampaging Baelos has Landfall, make a 4-4. Architect of the Untamed has Landfall, you get an energy. Pay 8 energy to make a 6-6 Beast Artifact token. Spore Mound has Landfall, make a 1-1 Sapperling. Now, on to some fun aggressive cards. Polyraptor clones itself whenever it takes damage. Ilharg has a sneak attack effect. Rhythm of the Wild makes your creatures uncounterable and gives them Riot. Moraug has landfall. If it's your main phase, you get an extra combat after this phase, and you untap all your creatures at the start of that combat. Heartless Hidetsugu can be tapped to deal half of each player's life total to them, rounded down. Impact Tremor hits each opponent for one whenever a creature enters your field. Gulta, Primal Hunger, costs less to cast for each toughness your creatures have, and it's a big dumb trampoly idiot. Dictate of the Twin Gods doubles all damage. Quartzwood Crasher says whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample deal combat damage to a player, you make a dinosaur token with Trample and power and toughness each equal to the damage dealt. Mirage Fainlix has Soul Bond, which binds it to one of your creatures when either creature enters, and as long as it's paired with a creature, both of them make a copy of themselves on your combat steps, except that copy has Haste and not Soul Bond, and they get exiled at the end of combat. Ulvenwald Oddity is a 4-4 Trampler that can be paid into to become an 8-8 that gives all of your creatures plus one plus one Trample and Haste. Ascendant Pack Leader uh, enters with a plus one plus one counter on it if you have a mana value 4 or greater permanent. Whenever you cast a mana value 4 or greater spell, it gets a plus one plus one counter. Torbran adds 2 damage whenever one of your red sources deals damage. Consuming Blob gets bigger for every card type in your grave, and makes a copy of itself on your end steps, except those copies don't make copies of their own. Basically, they do not go exponential like Scoot Swarm does. For support, we've got Awakening, which untaps all creatures and lands on each upkeep. Nissa, Genesis Mage, untaps two creatures and two lands for plus two. Nylia, Keen-Eyed, makes your creatures cost one less. Runic Armasaur draws you one whenever an opponent activates an ability of a creature or land that is not a mana ability. Elemental Bond draws you one whenever a creature with power 3 or greater enters your field. Primeval Bounty makes a 3-3 whenever you cast a creature. Puts 3 plus 1 plus 1 counters on one of your creatures whenever you cast a non-creature. And gains you 3 life whenever you play a land. Marauding Raptor makes your creatures cost one less to cast and hits your creatures for two whenever they enter. This goes infinite with Polyraptor, but none of those triggers are May effects, so you either need a way to stop the infinite Polyraptors, or make sure that Impact Tremors is out so that they kill your opponents on entry. Otherwise, the game locks down and nobody wins. Imposing Grandeur lets each player discard their hand and draw cards equal to the greatest mana value of their commanders. Dollhouse of Horrors can be tapped to exile a creature in your grave and copy it, except it's a 0-0 construct that has it gets plus one plus one for each construct you control, and it has haste. Glorious Sunrise says at the start of your combat, your creatures get plus one plus one and trample. 
or target land can tap for three green for the turn, or draw a card if you have a creature with power three or more, or you gain three life. Lifecrafter's Bestiary lets you pay green whenever you cast a creature to draw one. Rites of Flourishing has everyone draw an extra card and, and play an extra land on each of their turns. There are a few defensive cards before we get into ramp and lands. Hull Breach lets you destroy up to one target artifact and up to one target enchantment. Ruinous Intrusion exiles target artifact or enchantment and puts plus one plus one counters onto one of your creatures equal to that permanent's mana value. Playline of Combustion hits a player for two whenever one of their effects targets at least one of your permanents. Return to Nature destroys an artifact, an enchantment, or exiles a card from a grave. For Mana Ramp, you've got Collective Voyage, which anyone can pay into and then everyone draws cards equal to the mana paid into it. Avatar of Growth has everyone search up two basics on entry. Sword of the Endmist lets you search up a basic whenever the equipped creature attacks. Realms Uncharted as you search up four lands with different names, an opponent chooses two to go to your grave, and then the other two go to your hand. Remanap Excavator lets you play lands from your grave. Wayfarer's Bobble lets you sack it to search up a land. Summer Bloom lets you play up to three extra lands this turn. Kadama's Reach searches up two basics and puts one into play and the other into your hand. Farseek searches up a land with at least one basic land type besides Forest. Traverse the Olvenwald searches up the basic land and adds it to your hand. If you have four or more card types in your grave, you instead search up a creature or land and add it to your hand. Druid Glass gains you life whenever a land enters your field, lets you play extra lands, and turns your lands into creatures. Giraper Orrery lets everyone play an extra land each turn, and if they start their turn with no cards in hand, they draw three cards. Securitus Root searches up two basics and or gates and puts them into play tapped. Cultivate is just Kodama's reach again. For General Ramp, You've got Nissa, who shakes the world, who can untap a land and turn it into a creature, and lets your forests tap for two. Joiner Adept lets your lands tap for any color. Heartbeat of Spring adds an extra mana whenever a player taps a land for mana. Leyline Tyrant stops your red mana from draining, and when it dies, you can pay any amount of red to have it hit something for that much damage. Soul Ring is Soul Ring. Arcane Signet taps for any color you need. Somberwald Sage can tap for 3 mana, that it can only be spent on creatures. Gruul Signet can be paid into and tapped for Gruul. Commander Sphere taps for any of your colors. Fountain of Vicar taps for any color, and it can be turned into a creature. For lands, you've got Fabled Passage, Craig Crown Pathway, Sheltered Thicket, Reliquary Tower, Raging Ravine, Game Trail, Temple of Abandon, Cinderglade, Command Tower, Dwarven Mine, Gruul Guildgate, Timber Gorge, and Gingerbread Cabin. You've also got 13 forests and 7 mountains. And there you have the Green Red Fun Stuff deck. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment letting us know what you think. If you want to see more from us in the future, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day, y'all.